There's a camera being used by many budget filmmakers that has sort of a cult following behind it, and many passionate people are making it more and more of a viable option to create great looking images. Imagine, a camera that could record raw video internally had a super 35 millimeter sensor and only cost 200 bucks. You may have already guessed it. Today, I wanna to take you through my journey of reconnecting with the legendary Canon EOS M. I first bought this camera way back in late 2012, and I got it mostly as a travel camera. It was cheap even back then because of how much the photography community hated it, but for filmmakers on a budget like me, I loved having something so small and being able to hack it with Magic Lantern, allowing me to enable things like focus peaking and zebras. I used it as a B cam on weddings, but eventually I grew out of it and said goodbye. But now 10 years later, after I first got my hands on this camera, I'm rediscovering the power the EOS M has. About eight years ago, I made a video on my channel about how I rigged this camera out for video. After that, I never really talked about it again, but someone who did was a creator named Zeke. Zeke made so many videos showcasing the power and potential of the EOS M shooting RAW, and it gave many people the resources needed to dive into the world of RAW video with Magic Lantern. I believe there are many EOS M shooters out there today who picked up this camera purely thanks to all of the great videos that Zeke made. Nowadays, the best place for all the info needed on this little camera is the EOS M Facebook group. That's the first place I went to get up to date on this camera and reteach myself how to get it working for the best results. Real quick, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Audio. Audio is a music and sound effects licensing site with thousands of amazing artists and tracks to choose from. One of my favorite features about Audio is their Link Match AI feature. This allows you to post a link to any song and Audio will recommend similar sounding songs to choose from. This is a feature that I've been waiting for for such a long time and I'm so stoked that it's available with an Audio Pro subscription. Speaking of which, the fine people over Audio are giving my viewers a huge discount. So use the code NIGEL70 for 70% off of an Audio Pro subscription and get access to amazing music and sound effects. Once again, big thanks to Audio for sponsoring this video. Calling the EOS M a Canon camera is a bit of a stretch for me. Everything good about this camera is mostly thanks to the Magic Lantern firmware. Which, if you're not aware, it's a hack that can be installed on a lot of Canon cameras that unlocks a plethora of features, including raw video. I'm not gonna lie, shooting raw on this camera is not for the faint of heart. If you're used to shooting your clips and quickly putting them into your editor, this isn't the camera for you. I almost equate this to shooting film photographs. You have to nail your exposure and your focus and you can't really play it back in camera. There's processing that you need to do before you can actually view your captured footage and put it into a timeline. But dang, for a $200 camera, you can't get a better looking image than this.
I think that if you're the type of filmmaker who prioritizes bit depth and color fidelity over crazy specs and resolution, this little EOS M is a great tool to start teaching yourself more about color grading and diving into the world of Magic Lantern. It's also a great B camera to have when you're traveling. It's not something that will distract you very much. And since viewing your captured images isn't the best experience on the camera itself, you kind of have to wait until after you processed your raw images to see what you got. I've been using this little camera as a B-roll camera for like the past month and mixing it in with my S52X footage and no one has seemed to notice, which is pretty cool. In 2023, there are so many amazing cameras to choose from, and a lot of the times the cameras make capturing images really, really simple. This camera actually takes a step back and makes capturing a good image a little bit more of a challenge, which I think can actually make you work for better images and almost prompt you to create better stuff. Shooting with this camera again really brings me back to my roots of trying to get the best image I possibly can out of really cheap gear. And I think that if you're looking for a fun little camera to mess around with, it isn't gonna cost you a lot of money, but that you can still intermix with your higher end footage, this is a pretty cool camera to check out. And the really cool thing is that there's an entire community surrounding this camera with a bunch of people that are eager to help you with any questions that you have. And that I think was one of the coolest things about learning this camera is that there's just so many people that wanted to help me get the best results possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be links on the screen that you can click on if you wanna see more of my videos. Big thanks again to the sponsor of this video, which is audio. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Later.